Okay, I got some good news for flight uh, simulator enthusiasts. Uh, the people that are wondering about uh, good old flight simulator 2004 that wouldn't run quite 100%. Well, now guess what? Windows 8.1, we click on this, not in compatibility mode, not anything. We simply click on it. Flight simulator 2004 comes up. Now, the first thing it does, it says, hey, you need this component called Direct Play. Direct Play has been added to 8.1. This allows you to play across the Internet. It was pulled out of DirectX, I believe. But it now allows you to go ahead and install that. You can do it directly, but I just want to go over here for a second. We're going to go out to the control panel, and we're going to go to Programs, and we're going to click on Turn Windows Features on and off, and this is where you configure your features. And you'll notice there is a legacy components there, and if you expand it, there's Direct Play. So that's where they've added in. It didn't exist before. Now, I'm not going to install it here, but uh, if you're ever doing something else and you want to know about Direct Play and everything, you want to install it separately, uh, you go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to say, I'm just not even going to run it uh, that way. I'm going to just going to go over here. I'm going to go back over here, and, and during the installation, it installs Direct Play. So here it's going in there and saying all that. This supposedly will allow you to uh, do shared flights across the Internet. So it's done, okay, and it needs a restart. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, we did that, now we're back into... Uh, Flight Simulator. One of the first things you'll see here is if you click on a window uh, for a aircraft. Before, when you said you couldn't do it, you can still select your flight, do all those things you want to do. But if we go down to the, we go over here, and I, I changed to this mode so we can see the desktop still. But if we come over here and we say, uh, oh, I want to do the different things, I want to configure and all that stuff, uh, create a flight, right? There is the aircraft. Uh, there is the preview window you were missing before allows you to go ahead and do that. You click on change, you come over here, you check on different Lockheed, there's a different plane there. Whatever planes you want, the preview system now works and, and everything. So that's really good news. Oops, we're in 3D mode here. Uh, that's because the video card driver is set up for stereoscopic glasses. Uh, I'll have to go in and turn that off here. Uh, let's, uh, let's see, how do I do yeah, Let me cancel out of uh, Flight Simulator completely. Uh, we'll go over here and close this down for a second and right click on the desk. Oh, no, we'll go down here to the. I have a NVIDIA card, so we'll come down here. Uh, say open the control panel. And let me find the uh, 3D set. Enable 3D processing. So I'm shutting that off. So uh, we're good there. So we say apply. The system is now not doing stereoscopic 3D. Oh, by the way, you can buy glasses and run your aircraft that way well if you want to. But here we're back in. There's the Lockheed uh, SR-71 again. You can select whatever we, we want, uh, change to whatever plane you, you think you want to play with and everything, just as usual. So uh, once you have that all set up and you decide what you want to, you want to fly, uh, you simply click on the OK button and let's go. Uh, fly now. Sorry. Generating the scenery files, doing everything it's supposed to do. And remember, this didn't work on the eight, same system, 8.1. Now, I'm in the F-16 here. Uh, I don't think my engines are on. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's, I don't hear anything. So let me go back over here. Uh, but let's first, let's, let me demonstrate that the spot view works. You can sit there and drag your view around like it didn't used to work as, uh, as well with that. So I usually like to be about 15 feet above and behind. Uh, change my uh, transitioning to a fast transition. So... Uh, I'll go ahead and uh, adjust all those parameters here, and you can see the picture changes. So I'll take that off, say that, say OK, and I should get right behind the aircraft. OK, I switched over again to the F-16. Let me go back over to the SR. Sorry about the clipping here, but I'm going here to show you some examples of what I'm trying to accomplish here with, <laughs> with engines off. But the point of it is that everything runs so smoothly. Everything snaps. Everything... Uh, this is with a joystick, by the way. This has got an Xbox joystick hooked up to it and everything. And uh, while we're gliding around and goofing around, this is all working so well and everything. It's, uh, it's really nice uh, how, how smoothly that's worked, how much of an improvement it is uh, with the uh, Windows 8.1. Well, to get, uh, to get down to business here, you'll see that I'm flying now with power. And I can adjust my, uh, my wings and everything. I can do whatever I want. Speed up here. See that? Of course, I could go to full screen mode. 
Uh, everything's working exactly as supposed to. I can change my options, do everything that you're normally able to in 2004. Very, very nice, uh, very smooth. Uh, I'm back at the, the SR-71 because I'm going to show you the gears. You see the, the planes after burners are showing up. There's the gears, so we're going to uh, raise the gears a little bit here. Uh, and there we are. Everything running perfectly well. So if you want Flight Simulator 2004, uh, there you are. It runs perfectly under Windows 8, uh, so when the upgrade comes out, uh, I suggest you do it as soon as you can.